Hello everyone, my name is Salar and this is Sal DEM channel. This lecture is about uniaxial tensile test of materials which measure the tensile strength of different kind of materials and I'm calling this lecture standard tensile test because it's usually used for different kind of standard samples but I'm going to publish an advanced version of tensile test which I'm gonna uh, simulate tensile test of metamaterials which is an advanced type of tensile test so as always let's start with the part module okay firstly let's model our plate uh, let's call it plate which is 3d deformable solid and I use extrusion with an approximate size of 2 okay I'm going to create a rectangle from 0 and the second point would be 0 0.15 and 0 0.8 good okay I'm gonna give a depth of 0 0.008 millimeters okay cool uh, let's move to the next module okay for the property module we need to create a material which is a steel in this case and then assign this material to our sample which is the plate okay let's start by creating our material let's call it steel and as I'm going to uh, use dynamic explicit solver for this simulation we need to assign some density to our material so uh, okay oops uh, then we need to assign elastic properties okay and the position ratio very good so let's add plastic properties which usually starts with yield point with the zero plastic strain okay Next, okay, A six zero point zero nine. Good, okay, okay, the final input data. You can usually extract this data from research articles or your experimental tests. And we are finished here. Okay, let's create a section which is section steel, which is solid and homogeneous. So, okay, and assign this to our plate. Okay, we are finished here and let's move to next module okay for the assembly module as we only have one part we just need to import it here okay there's nothing to do in this module let's move to the next module okay for step module I'm going to create a dynamic explicit uh, step with uniaxial tensile name which is dynamic explicit okay be sure that the analgium is on and we could move to uh, next module okay as we don't have anything to add in internet interaction module so the next module is load which we are going to apply our boundary conditions it's important to know that we have and in caster bottom side and we have a velocity boundary condition on the upper side towards the minus y axis so let's apply it okay the first um, please note that always change the name of your boundary conditions because it is more professional for you as a, a finite element engineer and it helps you on uh, complex simulations 
to your carrier so I'm gonna change this to bottom side and which is symmetry anti-symmetry and caster from the mechanical type okay then I'm gonna choose this plane okay this face and choosing caster okay let's change to this type and assign a velocity from the mechanical category let's change it to upper side and choose this face okay everything is set to zero except we 2 which is 0 0.5 meter per second okay and we have nothing to do we could move to the next module okay mesh module let's okay let's assign global size I'm gonna do it with 0 0.03 let's see okay good size but you could make your mesh smaller for better results okay everything's cool just check the element type which must be explicit and 3d stresses because we are using dynamic explicit okay let's assign mesh okay cool let's move to the next module okay we are just one step from the results so we need to create the job in our job module which is job uniaxial tensile for standard samples we use model one and just we need to run the simulation and wait for the results okay the job is finished and let's move to the result part okay as always i'm going to use feature edges only and i want to eliminate some uh, annotations to have better visual visualizations okay as you see we have necking here let's see it as an animation very good I hope you enjoy this simulation I will apply update uh, this tensile test and will upload an advanced version for this uh, standard test for metamaterials so then I'm going to add the link to this video okay thank you very much have a good time